And I've got a new way to explain AI and specifically LLMs to people. And I think this one is short enough. In fact, I'm just going to give the highlights of it. So let me take you into this one. Uh, so here is the basic concept. Five levels of LLM understanding. So the first level at the bottom is it's just predicting text, like the next text token in a, in a text sequence. That's all it's doing. It's not magical, right? And this is kind of the most common argument for why LLMs and AI is not all that special, or specifically AI based on LLMs. People are just like, look, it's just next token prediction. No big deal. If you pull away from that one level, it's like, look, it's just predicting the next item in a sequence. Okay, so it's just next token prediction. Okay, one abstraction away from there, and this all comes from this thing from uh, Eliezer Yudkowsky, who had this, this great kind of little statement on X that made me think about this. But essentially what it is, is for this level, level three, it's predicting the next token in the description of an answer. Okay. So what Yudkowsky said was any predicting the next token is isomorphic with predicting the next token of an answer. Okay. And that is really, really powerful. And it wasn't the exact quote, but that's essentially it. If you go one level above that, okay, it's predicting answers to insanely difficult questions. So, so here, here are the four levels so far. It's predicting the next token in a piece of text. It's predicting the next token. Third level, it's predicting the next token of an answer. Second level, it's predicting answers. And the top level, it seems to know everything. Okay? And this all comes from this, here it is right here. It just predicts the next token. Literally any well-posed problem is isomorphic to predict the next token of the answer. And literally anyone with a grasp of undergraduate comp sci is supposed to see that without being told. I don't agree with that last part. Th this part here, I don't agree with that. I, I don't think that's accurate. In fact, I think the vast majority of people that's very much not the case. Very much not the case. I, I would say 95%. So I, I would say I, I disagree on multiple levels for that second piece. The part that I like is this here, which I highlighted and separated on purpose. Literally any well-posed problem is isomorphic to predict the next token of the answer. That is extraordinary. That is brilliant. That is the answer to the it's just next token prediction argument. That is the immediate counter of that. Well-posed problem equals prediction of next token of answer. So that's that one. 